with Spanky. Why would you want to be a trucker? You've got all these degrees and all this business experience. Why would you want to be a trucker? That's the exact reason. I want to be a trucker. So stick around and I'll walk you through my journey into becoming a trucker. Night falls and the pestilence is dense to the air. Who will save you? So welcome to the Freak Show. Everybody goes, you know, you've got so many stories, why don't you write a book? If I did, I'd have to put it in the fiction section because nobody believed me. I went through my life, and anything I want to do, I've done. You know, I'm like the great pretender. I set my mind on something, and I want to do it, I've done it. I've run multi-million dollar businesses. I've run, you know, restaurants. I've done a lot of things. There's one thing that I've always wanted to do that I couldn't. I wanted to be a trucker. You go, what? When mom and dad split up, I was still little. One of my earliest memories was this guy that mom dated named Michael Doss. Y'all might have heard that name before. His mother, Sharon, is the one who taught me how to play guitar. Taught me jazz in church. He also taught me a lot of bluegrass and a lot of other things. But anyway, it was his stepmom. But let's get back to my... So, I remember this big, muscle-bound, tattooed... He didn't have a lot of tattoos. He had one on his arm. Marine Corps. And he drove a Peterbilt, a cab over. And I was little, and you know, you remember weird things. But I remember him putting me on his lap and letting me drive the big cab over. Big Peterbilt. And ever since then, I said, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to be a trucker when I grow up. I'm going to drive me a big rig. Well, you know, life happens. I had kids that were young, and life kind of gets in the way, and I've been blessed in a lot of ways. You know, I had all my kids, and, you know, they're all grown now, and I've run a multi-billion dollar business. I've done a little bit of everything that I've wanted to do, and I've knocked off almost everything on my bucket list. So I kind of had to rebuild my bucket list. I sat down, and I thought, you know, after all this and cancer is gone, and what am I going to do? I want to go back and set my death. You realize, you know, when you wake up after you face death, an imminent death, you could face death. People do it all the time. I've done it all the time when I was in the Marine Corps. But whenever you face death and you've got that expiration date and you beat that, you know, you wake up and the sun's so much warmer in the morning and life is so much. More, more, it's just more. So you ask yourself, you know, what do you want to do? And everybody's asking, what, do you, what are you going to do when you go back to work? What are you going to do? Well, I've revamped and I want to have that Peterbilt. I want to drive that truck and live on the road and see the country. You know, I want to make another great story that nobody's going to. You know, I just want to live and. You know, with my kids being grown, I mean, I've got Kagan here, and I've still got my kids in my life and stuff, but they're all grown and doing their own thing. And, you know, I've got another 20 years here, hopefully. I don't want to sit behind a bed. I don't want to deal with the public anymore. I want to get out there and see this big old world. I tell you all the time, get out there and see this big old world. I'm going out there to see this big old world. So why would I want to be a trucker? It's dangerous. It's this, it's that. Everything we do is dangerous. Walk across the street and get hit by a bus. You know. So, yeah, why would I be a trucker? I think, you know, with the way that I do things, by the time I go to work, stay on the road for a while, save some money, buy my own truck, put my motorcycle ramp up on my truck so I can take my motorcycle with me, and with my business sense, and I've been blessed to have a great mentor, Ed Whitaker, you know, and with the stock market since I got and the mentorship that he gave to me you know I think I could turn this into a career maybe a legacy either way I'm gonna get out there and see this big old world and have some heck stories to share with my YouTube family so like I said get out there see this big old world laugh a little love a little laugh a little till next time people Like, 
subscribe. Don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are.